Quan Chi. Quan Chi. It disappoints me to see you here. Save your pity. I will have an audience with Quan Chi. You may address me. I will inform him. Is this why you chose not to save your family and clan? To maintain your place at his feet? Do not talk of my family, Raiden. Fetch your master, Scorpion. I must speak with him. You speak only with me. Round one, fight! Right, so here we go. This is the final chapter of this playthrough. So I hope you enjoyed everything so far. Now this time, um, I'll explain as I go. Let's go do things uh, editing-wise uh, a little bit different, just because this is quite a big chapter to get through. Obviously, being the last one, there's a lot of cutscenes. It'll all make sense as we get closer. So here we are uh, as Raiden, and really get to see the idea of him going to the dark side. But again, that'll all pan out later. So here we are, he, as we saw. At the end of Nightwolf's chapter, he's gone over to see Quan Chi to try and beg for help and blah, 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 blah. You know, the good idea that makes sense. Yeah, well done, Raiden. Anyway, so, I uh, sorry, cut scene, he's stopped by uh, Scorpion. And at the moment, not doing well at all. Uh, I must admit, uh, out of all the characters I've played through, through all three of the reboot story modes I've gone through, Raiden is the one I least enjoy playing with. I just can't get to grips with it. I, I, it's a struggle. It really is a struggle. And you say, I'll whiff the X-ray mode. But um, yeah, we're just going to try and go through as quick as we can and do whatever. And of course, Scorpion is a formidable opponent. <laughs> He's the undead ninja. Of course he is. Assassin, whatever you want to call him. Yep, so he's doing a number on me. But I have, as you can see, I've learned a gra grab, throw, grapple, whatever. Um, so get used to seeing that because, as I explained before, once I figure one thing out, I'm going to stick with it. Didn't work for me there that well. But here we go. Skipping to round three. Uh, I've just cut through cut through as much as I could there. Uh, basically, um, as you can see, uh, round three tied a piece uh okay i'm trying a bit different here where i showed the full losses but now i'm skipping back to the final round just to say you know i did get there eventually um but yeah it's just i told you i'm gonna learn a grapple <laughs> that's all i'm gonna be doing so you're probably gonna be glad that i decided to mix up how i made it in this one together but yeah just jumping around closing the gap let him set me on fire then just do a grapple. <laughs> and then let him hit me. Do a grapple. Get a bit closer. Do the grapple again. There we go. You know, you come here for the top quality content, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, it is working and it gets you through. And as with story modes, you have to be as cheap as they are. It's just how it is. Now, Scorpion, fetch your master. You seek an audience. I seek cooperation between Earthrealm and the Netherrealm. Losing the battle, are you? We will prevail, but with the Netherrealm fighting at our side... You lie poorly, Raiden. Earthrealm's defenses are overwhelmed. You have mere hours. Name your terms. What do you offer? I offer... I offer the souls of Earthrealm warriors who die in this conflict. <laughs> they would agree. You are a cavalier with other men's souls. Not just others! I offer my own soul as well. If I die, you will have it. How noble, Raiden. Yet utterly pointless. No! You see, their souls are already mine. Shao Kahn's payment for Netherrealm's allegiance. No, this was not meant to be. Earthrealm has lost Raiden. Now so shall you. Finish him. A 
as you command, my master. Round one. Fight! So we finally get introduced to the Re Remnant. Revenant? One of them. One of them is Leonardo DiCaprio movie, and the other one is correct. Uh, but yeah. So what we have here is very similar to tag team matches, but also not. I'm gonna refer to them as gauntlet matches. So we've got the one health bar with Raiden, and this is gonna be three opponents. So we start with Jax. Oh yeah, there's that grapple move again. And then there's Cabal and the Striker as well. But you've only got the one health bar of Raiden, but it's not the best of three, uh, two rounds. Uh. So you know. It's different. It's a challenge. And again, what I've done with my editing here is I've just gone through for the successful one. Because if I can show like how many, it took a lot of attempts. Cause you have to do all three. So I just thought that I'll be padding out a video for a bit too long because it's already quite long as it is for what we're doing here. But nevertheless, Jax is gone. Now there is a funny one later. I must remember to come back to it later. So yeah, here's striker. Now with obviously this uh, revenant, remnant, revenant remnant whatever the character they still have the like dialogue like he still talks and he does some moves how did, just jumping around him apparently that's just worked yeah well like i said earlier uh just shoot the gap uh by jumping and then grapple and carry on rinse and repeat i it's gonna work so get used to it but yeah it's an interesting way of just breaking it up something different for the end game for the home stretch but not only are we um introduced to these uh Zombies. I'm going to go with that. I can pronounce that, kind of. Uh, this is explain obviously, we, if you've seen all my other videos or played the other story modes, uh, you've seen that how the zombies um, are included in that. So this is the explanation there, which is kind of nice. Um, I didn't know that that's actually how it played out. So every day was a school day. <laughs> I am getting really bored myself of watching <laughs> the one grapple. <laughs> anyway, so now we've got Cabal. Um, yep. There you go! Yeah, it, I just love the fact that you got that, say, the one health bar, as I said earlier, but so you can see it started with a little bit of damage! So, good stuff! Uh, oh, wow, <laughs> you spin for a long time! <laughs> Very nice of him just to leave me alone while I was in that stage. Oh, that is some damage as well. But, <laughs> he can do a throw, so can I. But yeah, just nice little concept, very different. Uh, new, changing it up. So yeah, I agree with all this. Well done. Uh, the beard approves. So go through all this. Um, yeah. Challenging though. I will say that there are a lot of deaths there. Like I say I'm just doing it this way just for the sake of time. We're only really here for the... Well, you guys are only here for the cutscenes. <laughs> and just laugh at me being rubbish. I've cut out the rubbish thing. But now... Anyhow, so let's just quickly wrap up the cabal as quickly as I can. Then you get the next juicy cutscene. Yeah, that sound all right. Yeah, we just got to wait for me to actually do something good. But yeah, I said, I, I, Raiden is probably my least favourite character to play with. Um, I came out wrong. Um, yeah, I don't I particularly enjoy that much. Um, yeah, so let's just get this one out of the way. Kind of sucks that he's the final one for this game. Not a fan of that bit. May the Elder Gods watch over you. The Elder Gods cannot help them. Their souls are mine. Kitana, Nightwolf, Kong Lao. You sealed our fate in this place, Thunder God. You have condemned us all. Round one, fight. And yet again, uh, we've got this again. Uh, a bit of rope yet in there by me because I'm awesome. I don't make mistakes ever. Uh, anyway. Right, so yeah, it's just exactly the same as before this time. We've got Kitana, Kung Lao, and uh, Nightwolf. I was going to try and do it off memory, even though in the cutscene, Quan Chi just explained who they were. I'd already forgotten, and I'm not going to lie, I had to look at my notes. Anyhow, <laughs> this is top grade quality content you get only here with the beer. Uh, anyway, uh, hopefully one more uh, rotation and I've got rid of Kitana there, so that should be okay. Nope, I need to do one more mid. <laughs> Gosh, got to end it with grapples. Uh, oh, I got flawless. What the hell? Hey, you see? Uh, but yeah, um, I was saying at the end of the last fight, um, with the story mode, sometimes you just got to be as cheap as they are. Um, because, well, it's similar tactic to what I did, again, alluding to the comparisons there, the tag team matches. Um, similar kind of thing just like duck and hit duck and hit save as much health as you can for as long as you can 
I know that sounds like what you should do for every single fight, but that really gets ramped up a bit in something like this, where you got the one health bar. But yeah, I, I enjoy it. Um, probably didn't enjoy it at the time when I was capturing. Probably uh, uh, hated and cursed everything. But nevertheless, it's fun. It's different, so, you know, change as good as the rest, as they say. Yeah, yeah, we all know that saying. But, oh, look at that, so close. Just that one little little bit of health left at the end. But, yeah, one thing, especially with Katana's influence, when she was coming over there, they did change her voice up a bit there. Uh, like, put, like, an echo effect or something on it. But, unfortunately, it's just not there for the actual fight. Jorian fight things. All I've done is just, like, uh, change the apparel attire just a little bit. And, like, skin tones, etc. But, yeah, the voices just kind of stayed the same. I noticed, like I said, earlier, I noticed it more with Striker or anything. But, oh, one thing I will talk about is I love this setting. I know we've been here before. Like, isn't this where we were squadron against Sub-Zero with the murder? So, yeah, it's like, oh, the whole game has just been great uh, from scoring. Um, the arena, like changing themes and everything. Well, combat's just great. How can you not like it? Zhao Khan's victory is nearly complete. Soon he will arrive in Earthrealm. No, the Elder Gods cannot allow it. The Elder Gods are toothless. Your world is near destruction, yet they do not act. They must. Only through mortal combat may Zhao Khan merge the realms, lest he face the judgment of the Elder Gods. Lest he face the judgment of the Elder Gods, he must win. It is you who face judgment, Raiden. Thank you, Quan Chi. I now know what must be done. Realm empty handed, I see. Liu Kang! Liu Kang, I now realize what we must do. We must allow Shao Kahn to merge the realms. That is insane. The Elder Gods forbid it without victory in mortal combat. When he does, the Elder Gods' fury will fall upon him. Defeating Shao Kahn before the merge is but temporary. He will return, bringing Armageddon. I have foreseen it. Enough, Raiden! I say, have faith in the Elder Gods. Have faith in me. Liu Kang, I cannot let you fight Shao Kahn. Then you are my enemy. Round one, fight! So now we're back on Earth Realm. Lots and lots and lots of prop developments here. So again, you can see the darkness forming within Raiden. But he's actually right. And I like how, uh, with this version here, of the timeline on the reboot, explaining how if the Electro Alcorn merge, then that prevents Armageddon. So that kind of negates Deadly Alliance, uh, Deception, and Armageddon games. So it's just the original three. Oh, and Mortal Kombat 4. Did anyone play 4? Uh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't play anything, to be honest. Uh, yeah, then... Um, that brings it through the gates those last few games and then we obviously carry on with a new continuity so i think that's a nice little touch there just explaining everything as well planting seeds for the story modes to follow so you still like um was it armageddon where it was dark raiden and so you still get a flavor of that in uh, x and 11. so yeah it's pretty good gotta tip your hat to that it's good writing for a fighting beat em up game about um defending earth <laughs> Defenders of the Earth just popped to my head. What a reference. Please tell me at least one of you remember what Defenders of the Earth is. Come on, someone has to remember Defenders of the Earth. Uh, or Earth's Mightiest Warriors, the Avengers. No, Defenders of the Earth's better. I like it. Right, so as you can see, uh, going back into this particular fight. Not done too well there. I was probably thinking of Defenders of the Earth at the same time when I was capturing it. <laughs> but yeah. Luke Aaron's got to win every now and again. You know, you've got to give him something. But, yeah. So, brilliant. 
brilliant what they're doing with the uh, changes to the storyline. And I like how, obviously, with the invasion thing, so we've got all the Neverrealm, etc. Demons taking over Earthrealm, or the, the throne in the background. Oh, good, good stuff, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, thoroughly enjoying it. But luckily, yes, I am trying to do some fighting now, because it's just a one-on-one -on -one fight. So, doing things a little bit different. Uh, I'm not just relying on one grapple. I'm actually doing some moves. Sorry, I did some moves. Anyhow, well, this is fight four. So, uh, as history has dictated with all these story bases, this is the last fight, isn't it? Nothing else to worry about at all, is there? Nah. It's all going to be good. Shame the last fight against Liu Kang, man. Uh, anyway, so I guess better be quiet and let the credits roll, eh? Yeah. Liu Kang, do not interfere. Kang, stop! Uh, Liu Kang! Raiden! No! Enough of your madness! If you must die, so be it! By the gods! No! No. This was not meant to happen. What did you do? Liu Kang, forgive me. You have killed us all. Oh. Come on. It's up to us. <laughs> ah, Raiden. You have come to your senses. Earthrealm citizens suffer. Further resistance serves no purpose. All these ages you have fought me. You denied me my rightful claim. Not this time. The Elder Gods fear me now. <laughs> Their pathetic mortal combat shackles me no longer. Ages wasted in foolish resistance. I have won. Yes. You have won. Now, Raiden, your world ends. without victory in mortal combat. Our penalty is clear. <laughs> ah. 
<laughs> An anemic effort from ineffectual deities. Today, I become the Elder God. Round one. Fight! Great! Got a feeling this is going to go just as well as well as Liu Kang. Anyone else feeling that? Well, at least he's got the same moveset. But, great, I'm Raiden. Oh, this is not fun. <sighs> Look how quickly he's just decimating me there. Oh, dear lord. But yeah, again, love that uh, in the cutscene, how it kind of flashed back to the beginning of the game, which is the end of Armageddon. Just showing like, the parallels of how, well, I suppose, fate kind of works. <laughs> But nevertheless, here we go. Did I just trip? <laughs> Fully just tripped. <laughs> Great stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the top tier. Top tier content by me. Yeah, this is actually Joker size, the uh, last fight. Um, yeah. <sighs> just rock and rolling. But as you can see, we're just going to try and do stuff eventually. I don't think we will do anything. But yeah, anyway, uh, cutscene, arena, talks about that. Uh, so yeah, good stuff. Thoroughly enjoy this. Uh, this second round, though, I'm doing a bit better, aren't I? But not great. Um, so let's just carry on. You can see what I'm doing is I'm experimenting with uh, what I learned as uh, Liu Kang. Just basically being as cheap as you can against Shao Kahn. So that's what I'm doing. Just trying to basically what I was... Didn't work though, did it? Anyway, this time it does. This is the how oh, I actually end it. So yeah, as you can see, jump over, get to the backside of him, and then kick, let him kick me in the chest. But no, if I do it properly, there's still a little grab because it works. And then I figured out like when I try to jump over and get the other side an uppercut. But I can also sometimes have like a mid-air uppercut. So again, not too disheartened as and when he hits me. But yeah, just try and jump over him when he's taught and get to your side. There you go. See what I mean about that first mid-air uppercut and then the second hit there from a normal uppercut. And that was basically it. As before when we was Liu Kang, let him hit you because you're torn and it's a free hit. Just trying to be cheap and not so much relying on a simple combo to do the damage here. It's just get on the wrong side of him and hit him there. That is it. That uh, obviously... Um, you can try and use the Raiden teleportation move where he jumps to the other side and use that to effectively keep getting to his backside to hit him. But I, again, as with the Dragon Ball thing from Liu Kang, I couldn't find a way to consistently do it. It's just some rubbish at games, basically. That's all it is. So I just did it this way. And as you can see, it works. <laughs> it works. So you do you. If you want to do the teleportation, then go for it. If you don't and do what I'm doing here, just back relying on the jumping, it's fine. But the only downside with the jumping is obviously he has that charging shoulder move. And so if he does that, uh, you kind of screw. So it is a look at a draw. I would recommend getting being good at the game and actually using the teleportation move. But, you know, this is how I did it. That's all I can say, really, isn't it? Worked for me. So, oh, yeah, I've got a little bit of a mountain to climb, but you know what? If I'm good, I do it. I know, I, I, do, I do actually pull this back. Uh, I think I did anyway. But yeah, maybe I didn't. Yeah, there we go. Go for the X-ray, right? Yeah, I did pull it back. See, I need to jog my memory every now and again, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's not that great. I thought, what is that? It's kind of like Sonya Blade's like, kiss move that he does at the end of his X-ray. Interesting. But anyway, yeah, so he can see more working more in effect. He's taunting, hit that top one, hit the bottom one, jump over him, then I can go on the backside and do it again. You know, it's just great. And if I don't end up on the backside, I'll just use my other combo. Huh.
is over. But only at the gravest of costs. So many are gone. Their light has sunk into the earth. I am responsible for their loss. You did what you had to, to protect Earthrealm. Losses in war are, are inevitable. Come, let us tend the fallen. Then we must help our realm rebuild. Our work has only just begun. Lord Shinnok. Shao Kahn was blinded by rage. How easily he was convinced that the Elder Gods would ignore his merging the realms. Yet the Thunder God still lives. No matter. Neither Earth Realm nor Outworld can now withstand the Nether Realm's onslaught. It is time. Soon I will be free. Earth Realm and Outworld. Don't care. So there you go. There is the credit roll. So thoughts uh, again, right? With that last cutscene there, I love how it's pulled through. Obviously, we've done the playthroughs for X and Eleven, so we know how that comes through and leads off nicely to that. So big gorilla thumbs up from me. Um, thoughts of the game hasn't aged that well. And by that, basically, what I mean is. The cutscenes are not great, uh, especially when it comes to the fighting. Like for a fighting game where the fighting's so quick and blah 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 blah, bam bam bam. In the cutscenes, they leave a lot to be desired. They're very very slow. It's like the they took mocap actors and then slowed it down. It, it's a little bit jarring uh, as well because they use the physical models from the fight. Like you see them walking around, and they're in like their pose which works like that model in that shape um during the fighting but when it's just walking around normally uh yeah it leaves a bit to be desired now these are very very small quibbles when i'm looking at a game that's 10 years old okay so i had a lot of fun playing it very hard at places probably because of the shao Kahn fights and the tag matches by the hardest story mode i've actually played through so yeah it, it was a chore but a good one uh obviously i uh, editing it differently this time around you didn't get so much as me swearing and being angry which i hope you like or maybe we'll go back to the original format next time next time Shh. anyway now fully enjoyed it great scoring amazing the arenas fully amazing lack of qtes perfection love that so yeah, all in all, thoroughly enjoyed it, thoroughly recommend it. Still don't know why it's not on backwards compat um, compatibility. Uh, had to break out the old 360 for this baby. Uh, my controller is not very good. It's not aged very well. Uh, a few sticky buttons, which probably didn't help me too much. But you know what? I had so much fun. It was a blast. And I say, uh, I had it. This is the last one out of the three games that I've looked into. So seeing how it all ties in, really good. I enjoy it. Now, I know there's a lot of people who don't like the reboot and the changes to characters and timeline. And to them, people, I just say, you still have the original games. Don't worry. Your world is still there. Now, in cinema, when it comes to a reboot, I'm not, I can't be that uh, blase. But that's another time another conversation but anyway i've enjoyed this i thoroughly had a great time uh f highly recommend it pick it up do you do you uh i hope you enjoyed this please write down in the comments uh, if you enjoyed this um so please let me know and also please someone answer me the question if you know why this is not backwards compatible i'd love to know that but anyway this has been the beard you've been amazing so you stay stay you stay beautiful and i'll catch you in the next one bye
and I know what the next video is.